welcome back to the Southern Witch. So today I've got my box for Cures and Curses. Now this box has obviously seen some much better days because it was already half open when it got here. So we're going to go ahead and get into this and see what all we've got. how it comes it comes in a box and then we have these so we're gonna go ahead and get into this I am on my lunch break uh, but I am so excited to see what we've got this month so we got we've got our cures and curses business card and then we have this is uh, the Beltane Secret Satchel from May of 2021. Uh, we've got lots of cool looking stuff in here. So we're gonna put this aside. And then we have this, which is our print as well. Uh, it's really, really pretty, really cool. Uh, but it's basically about Let's see. It's almost like a like an ode of Beltane, kind of like a I wouldn't say a prayer exactly, but okay. So first thing that we've got in here, we have an air freshener, and this one's actually really cool. I've never seen one like this. Um, it's Moon Phases, and it's peach scented, and I love peach smells especially for my car, so this kind of works perfectly for me. Um, so we have that. Oh, well, let's see. Oh. First thing that we have on top here that I pull out is Dead Sea Honey Scrub. Um, can't really make out the text here, but this is what it looks like. We're actually gonna, it's been sealed with this super good tape. Now I'm from the United States and this is a UK box. Um, and I just wanna say to Cures and Curses and um, anybody else <clears throat> um, that I get boxes from from the UK, I don't know what's up with your guys' um, tape, but your tape like holds better than anything else I know. So yes, I'm all about that life. So these are our salts. And it has kind of like a faint honey smell and kind of something floral as well, but I can't really tell what that floral smell is, but it smells amazing. So I can't wait to use that. Then we have Beltane Fire Shampoo Bar with looks like cinnamon, rosewood, and blood orange. So we're gonna have a look at this. I've actually never used a shampoo bar, so this will be exciting. So this is what it looks like. And the way that I'm understanding is you just take this and you kind of scrub it in your hair in the shower. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. This smells so good. It kind of smells like, it kind of smells like the cinnamon candles, but I know it is a soap bar. So I'm excited about that. I'm actually going to put it back in here. I'm excited to use that later. Um, one, because of the smell. Two, because I've never used one of those bars. Then we have, we have Lily of the Valley Wax Melts. And let's see, they look to be kind of yellow maybe. So I'm gonna open these up and have a look, see what this is. Well, where's the, I'm just gonna open it like this. actually turn these right side that way so they all look like little flowers and they're like a yellowy orange um, they smell exactly like I would think Lily of Valley flowers smell um, I'm actually allergic to the flower itself the pollen or something so it does smell really nice it's a light floral smell 
So I'm kind of excited about that. The next thing that we have, let's see. Looks like we've got, and it actually came out of this bag. We have a little miniature burlap drawstringy bag. But we've got, uh, looks like, Looks like we've got two really decent sized chunks of bloodstone. And this is one of my favorite stones. I love bloodstone. It goes so well with my deity, uh, the Morrigan. Um, and I also have bloodstone for um, Hecate and Persephone as well. Even though I do have specialty stones for all three of them that I use. Um, that kind of works out. And I love that the, this is a massive chunk. Like... And I don't have very big hands, just so you know. So these are pretty decent sized, but they're really pretty. Then we have, we have a Beltane spell jar. And this is what it looks like. And it says, it's a blend of mint, mugwort, thyme, marigold, frankincense, and yarrow with a scroll spell for Beltane contained within. This glass spell jar has been created, uh, something. You, uh, to assist you in your Beltane rituals, uh, like for fertility and abundance uh, from the Earth Mother in season of fire, use this blend of herbs in an offering bowl as a, or as a candle anointment, or as part of your Beltane spell work. So we basically have an incense blend spell jar, and then we have a little spell scroll that's in there as well. And I'm all about Cures and Curses bottles. I mean, they're a decent size. They're really nice. They're thick glass. Um, oh, wow. That thing is really on there, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I see you. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, I'm going to struggle getting this cork out. There it goes. So, it smells minty and floral with marigold, but it smells minty because it does have the mint in there. And it has kind of a kind of an earthy smell to it as well so that would be the mugwort I'm actually just wanting to get this part oh yes so there's our our spell and it's got a little piece of twine wrapped around it and what kind of spell do we have here so it's a chant for Beltane um so if you want to pause it and read you can That's what comes in that. So I'm going to set that right here and I'm going to plug up my bottle again. The next thing that we have is a box. So let's see what we have in this box. If I can even get it open. I'm actually going to handy dandy pen. Not above it. So we've got another box, it feels like. Ooh, okay. So it uh, looks like a trinket box uh, with a, looks like it has a tree of life uh, carved into it. This is a solid wood box. Ooh. So there you go for that, like just so that you can kind of get an idea um, for it. Like it's a decent size box um, and I usually keep boxes like this and I put my crystals in it and I set the whole box out with all my crystals to charge them. So there is that. So it's really pretty. I'm really excited about that box. I'm just going to sit right there. For you guys, and then the last thing that we have, and then we have our little bag. The last thing we have is another box. So let's see what's in this. Okay. Oh! Me and this tape, guys, is it's honestly it's kicking my little witchy ass today. <laughs> That's okay. So we're just gonna move that back out of the way. We're gonna kind of. See if we can't open this together. Set that down. Oh! 
we have a chalice. And then we have, it has washing instructions and I'm gonna have to keep those so I know how to take care of this. So, it, okay, so that's what it is. It's saying that it's a chalice. This is nice. It's it's decently heavy, but look at this. It has dragons. I love dragons. Now I don't do dragon magic or anything like that. Um, but I am always I've always been fascinated with the different tales of dragons. So we've got these dragons on here. Some Celtic knot work and scroll work here, and then it looks like the stem has. It's almost like dragon scales, and then. The base has some more Celtic knot work. And then the cup itself is, feels like brushed steel, like stainless steel. And I mean, the, the goblet's a pretty decent size. Like if you get Cures and Curses and you know how big this um, these glass jars are, I mean, this is a pretty decent size goblet. So I'm really excited about that. I actually do not have a goblet slash chalice um, on my altars at all. I just have like an offering bowl made of copper. So something like this for like uh, ritual work for wines and bones farm, <laughs> whatever you use. Water even. Some people do ceremonies with blessed water. So this would be perfect for that. And I am super excited about it because I have never had a chalice um, and I don't have one yet until now. So I'm really excited about this, you guys. So I'm going to set that there. But this is the maze witch, uh, witch casket. Jesus, I've got one. It just came in the mail today. So I've got to get it going too. But this is the Cures and Curses um, May Secret Satchel. So just to go over it, we have an air freshener. We have an art print. We have a bell jar with a chant. We have some sea salt, dead sea honey scrub. We have a Beltane Fire Shampoo bar. We have Lily of the Valley wax melts, which smell really, really good. We have two decent sized chunks of bloodstone. We have our uh, Tree of Life trinket box. That's a decent size. And we also have our chalice. So, I am very excited about this. I'm going to take a picture of all of this and post it up um, on my Instagram. So if you like this video and you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up and leave some comments below if you want to. Um, so until next time, everybody, uh, I hope that everybody stays safe, uh, work your magic, you know, like you do, and blessed be.